Hello, Talk Life. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic, uh, fantastic end to the week. Uh, it's Friday already, would you believe? And uh, we're here in Talk Life HQ. I've got someone brand new, uh, two people to introduce you today who I, I know you know one of them really well already. Um, but I'd like to introduce Steve. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you all. Your Talk Life username was Steve. It was imaginative. Steve, um, I put a lot of thought into that. Welcome to the team. Um, Thank you very much. Huge welcome. Has been with us for three days. Yes. Highlight of the three days. Highlight. Uh, day one, I think it was very intense, but uh, I think you and Jen taking me through the business and uh, uh, where we're heading and stuff was really helpful. And a nice lunch at the same time as well. Had a lovely lunch. You got to post on Talk Life as well. I did. I got some some very positive feedback. And a few negative feedbacks. A bit, a bit <laughs> of trolling. <laughs> but it was all good. Welcome. It was all good. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's been great. It's been a, a busy few days but, uh, and a lot to do. Tell us a little bit about yourself in a couple of words. Where, where are you from? What do you do? What okay. um, do um, you enjoy? So I'm originally Eat. from originally from the north of Scotland. Yep. Um, but I've been living down in London for the last 12 years uh, where I've been working in probably more media and technology uh, focused businesses. Um, and I moved through to Bath, uh, not far from Bristol, uh, two, three months ago, uh, where I've been doing the long commute back to uh, London. And um, yeah, outside of work, uh, I do a lot of sport, a lot of winter sports, ice hockey, snowboarding. Ice hockey? Um, yeah, play a bit of ice hockey if my body still holds up. Yeah. Um, and uh, a few summer sports as well. Um, outside cool. of that, enjoy a lot of music, and I go and see a lot of comedy as well. Comedy? Yeah. Probably where a bit of the shtick has been coming from over the last few days. <laughs> Someone else very special to Talk Life who has made it across the shores for the long flight, for the long winter, um, Sir Draven. Draven, who you would know um, really well, has been with us for how many years? Four years now. Four years on Talk Life as one of our amazing QAs. Um, how are you finding the UK? Well, you guys do a lot of things differently over here. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's, it's true. You eat a lot less sugar. Yeah. Um, I'm trying so many different foods. Jamie is putting me on a special diet today. He's controlling everything I eat. And it's been amazing. Yeah, it's, it. it's, it's so much different food, and it's it's just. So much flavor that I can't even find back home, and it's been amazing. I don't know how hard you're trying back home. <laughs> well, well, you certainly do have better strawberries. It's true. I don't put everyone on um, on special controlled diets, talk <laughs> life. It just happens to be something that uh, Draven's done. But we're here today. We want to jump into uh, some of your questions that you've left us. Um, I want to talk about some of the update stuff that's coming up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Steve. He's going to talk about some of the Talk Campus uh, stuff as well. And um, yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a general chat. Um, I put a post up uh, a moment ago and I'm going to read through some of these questions and you guys are going to help me answer some of these questions. Um, thoughts on Endgame. We should put up a spoiler warning. If you haven't seen Endgame, we're going to talk about it. Thoughts on Endgame. Um, I, I actually thought that it was pretty great and pretty groundbreaking and what what happened in the movie is going to forever change the Marvel universe and I was so so excited for it on the edge of my seat the entire the entire night out of 10 uh out of 10 I, I'd probably give it a 10 Oof. you've haven't seen it yeah thanks for not ruining it, I, I'm <laughs> <to see> it. <laughs> um I want to reduce the period it takes to delete my account from two weeks it's a long time <laughs> ouch <laughs> well, you, you could um I mean, you don't need to do anything. Once you press that delete my account button, you can just leave for two weeks. And uh, in the background, it'll just happen. So, um, but you can email support if you really want to delete your account earlier. You can definitely do that. Um, will there be a place for us who want to create content videos in Talk Life? You're brand new, but uh, what do you think? Um. I mean, I don't see why not. I didn't say it was on the roadmap that we discussed the last three days. We seem to have a hell of a lot to take on anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah we'll add that to the roadmap, why not? Well, <laughs> I would probably say it's not coming. I'd probably say, um, 
there's plenty of other cool places for you to create content videos and, and you can share your YouTube vids in talk life. You can share your, your other links in talk life, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we're rushing to do video. We've got, we've got a lot on the roadmap already. Yeah. Thank you for uh, all the work the team's done to create a safe space, receiving and providing support. Is there a way to access content under various topics? For instance, to post any content we're given to topics to choose from, but if we wanted to select the topic itself and search for similar posts, could that be possible? Um, something we could think about, definitely. So you're, you're talking about grouping topics. Um, I, might, I might comment and see if we can get a little bit more information um, and have a think about it for you, for sure. Every feature you suggest, we can definitely, um, we can definitely look at if it's appropriate. Uh, Satma said, update when? So I'm just gonna take these questions <laughs> myself, shall I? Um, update is uh, underway at the moment. So it will keep your eyes peeled on the App Store and uh, we will um, let you know. Hey Blue said, are you guys gonna add a feature where you, you can post to followers only? And last question, are you guys going to add a feature where you can post pics to the comment sections? What do you think of pics to the comment section? I mean, I I think that it's definitely an option, um, but a lot of work, a lot of work on, on, on our end. I mean, we, we have done it with Talk Life Random. Um, in the comments. But in the comments. Um, it, it would be a lot of work. It depends on um, if you feel that pictures and photos and GIFs or GIFs are going to add more value to the comments um, and not take away from some of the serious comments and, and uh, you know, the nature of talk life as well. Um, I think that with every feature we have to think through, you know, is it really necessary yeah. um, on talk life and why, but um, it can go on the list for, for discussions for sure. Um, where do I go? Where do I find friends? Um, where do I find friends? Would I ever go far in life without this app um, uh, to search for people within my continent? But more broadly, where do you go to find friends if you're struggling to socialize? Um, well, from my point of view, it, you have to sort of push yourself out there. I've moved to quite a few different places. I've lived uh, over your neck of the woods in Australia for some time. I've lived in Cuba, Scotland, England. Um, and every time I've moved, you have to make a new group of friends each time. And it's very different cultures and different people. But if you're in, you just have to find out a common interest with people. Anywhere you go in the world, you're always going to find somebody that's into something that you are. So whether that's music, sport, whatever that may be. Um, and there's usually, a, there's usually a hub somewhere within that city, town, or wherever you may be. So um, yeah, it can be tough that first step, but it usually, uh, once you get some momentum going, uh, once you've got two or three friends in that area, then it can go quite quickly. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You definitely have to get out there. Yeah, yeah. And it, it can be tough that first step, can't it, for for anyone? But yeah. Um, yeah, once you've made that first one, then it should uh, it should get some momentum. Okay. I'm going to take two more questions, and then we're going to tell you a bit about uh, Talk Campus. Um, can you add stats for Talk Life users too, not only just mods? Uh, it'd be great to know how many comments they left or how many people flag uh, flag them, sort of like that, by Daisy Lou. I kind of like the feature. Um, I do. I think um, everyone loves stats on, on how many words they've written, how many uh, comments they've left. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I mean, we, we do have stats on what how many hearts people get already and posts, uh, and doing posts super people? hearts, how many posts, and you know, definitely something we could um, we could look at. I think I'd like to dive more into uh, some of the reflective stuff of themes and and categories and moods and how I've been feeling. I think one of the most powerful things when you're feeling flat is to be able to look back at that last month and say, actually. There were some really good times during that period when you know I was actually feeling okay, or you know I was out and about and I was doing certain things. So um, I'd love to to bring out some of those uh, moments to light a little yeah. bit more as well. I think that'd be really cool. Um, would you add gifts in the comments? <laughs> this is a I see a theme happening here. Talk life. Um, uh, okay, last question: Alexa or Google Home? Alexa, Google Home. Uh, I'm I'm Alexa. I I don't really 
have smart smart features at my home but siri no i don't even have theory i don't like i don't like things listening to me Fair enough. um tell us um about talk campus sure um so talk campus are you excited um, by talk campus i'm very excited uh it's going to be a lot of work over the coming months but we are we are launching a, a pilot a test a trial if you will over the over the next few weeks uh, where we're onboarding a number of universities um, and institutions in in the uk and in the us to start with um, and that process has gone really well we've had really positive feedback and it's going to be a very very specific specialized and each university has to sign up to to talk campus um, and once on board then we can start trialing new features that are specific to it what's um, it about it's gonna have i guess from my point of view from what i've learned the last two days already so far um, and today getting the first day uh, chance to look at it it's going to be far more focused on on specific content around universities uh, and potentially the struggles that our people are facing within the university environment uh, rather than maybe on talk live that covers more areas yeah it's just students it's just for students yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's far. um uh what if i'm a student in australia and i australia is offline and asleep what happens i'm talking with other yeah so it's it's still a still a global network so and i think that's what's key um and probably makes it quite unique in, in the space that we're working in is um, you can be a student in Australia, speaking to a student in Guatemala or Argentina or Scotland, wherever that may be, because, um, and I guess it goes back to the point I raised earlier in terms of uh, everyone's facing the same sort of uh, troubles and issues and stuff across the planet, even if you're speaking different different languages or studying in different countries. Yeah. So we're super excited. Um, you know, we know students have been saying to us, campuses have been saying to us for the last few years that uh some of the mental health services on campus at the moment um are not always uh fulfilling that need when you're feeling incredibly alone and isolated sometimes you need somewhere to talk with someone else who understands i think that's where talk campus really comes into its own it's people that are like-minded stigma free judgment free and uh we're really excited to be um to be pushing that live in the next couple of weeks with uh, select universities um, around the globe. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, in other news, in other news, uh, thanks for thanks for that dropping me. You got nothing, there. have you? Um, you caught me this on Friday afternoon, Jamie. To be fair, <laughs> he's got nothing. I didn't mean to do that. That was nasty. Um, we uh, can't thank you enough for the Talk Life patrons. Um, we have incredible uh, new patrons that have come through over the last two weeks as well we're about to hit 120 patrons which is awesome we have a goal at 150 i think that i do a cooking or a baking tutorial at 150 where i, <laughs> I have to go out with a baker and we're going to do some baking um and it's a bit of a long-running joke um it's not a joke i promise i'm going to do it um about sending out cookies um so we're going to do it everyone's going to get cookies but we figured we'd start with the baking first, so. I'm looking um, forward to the cookies. Yeah, you should, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be amazing, but again, we can't thank you enough for your ongoing support and, and patronage. Um, it's people like you who, you know, have kept us going over the years. It's allowed us to make these new features. It's allowed us to go out and help uh, students and veterans and all the other groups and, and really um, get behind mental health support as well, so. That's all from us, I think, on a Friday afternoon. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you can leave them down in the, um, in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, have an awesome weekend. Go and see Endgame if you haven't. Um, I will really? be. Really? I thought you had a busy weekend. Yeah, I will do. Monday. Bank <laughs> holiday in the UK. Hang on. No, not in this office. Yeah, maybe Monday evening. Are you planning to take your public <laughs> holiday on Monday? I think we were wrapping this up, were we? <laughs> <laughs> See you talk live. <laughs> Bye.